y'all welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in today go ahead while I'm thinking about it go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and hit that subscribe button this is a little bit different a different topic than I'm things I normally talk about on this channel but I'm still gonna twist it into speaking on how black women and especially me as a black American woman um, how I can choose myself in navigating the world all right so go ahead and hit that like button go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you are interested in being notified whenever I upload a new video okay so I'm gonna jump right into it hopefully I can keep this fairly quick so today I want to talk about Yvonne Orji's stand-up comedy um, special on HBO called Mama I Made It. I do want to start by saying it was funny. I watched it twice. Um, it was much better than I thought it was going to be. You know, typically I'm not a fan of a lot of Nigerian, American, like especially people with huge platforms and stuff um for reasons we all know but you know with the ados movement and all of that stuff for me as a black woman i choose to be a woman first not be black and not even be black american so first not be black american first i'm black american second with that being said you know i tried to go into it with an open mind i didn't even know she had a special um because i really don't follow her or anything that she does really um i do watch insecure this latest season i missed like the last couple seasons because i don't really like insecure but i did watch this season since everybody was talking about it so much and it apparently had so many different topics i didn't even know she was having a special because i don't really follow her but i saw on twitter that she was um that she had a special because a lot of the people in the ados movement was complaining about her um about her special um and they said that they watched Yvonne Orly stand up set on HBO and felt extremely uncomfortable in certain parts the secret elitism between Africans and black Americans is destructive and of course people continue to um saying like somebody said it's not even a secret I think it's one-sided and a lot of African immigrants come here to bring shame by calling black American names whole time black americans have nothing but respect and reverence for the continent then they wonder why ados becomes a movement which that's not totally true if i'm being honest and i've always been one to defend my black american heritage and lineage and all that kind of stuff against mostly nigerian american um people and it's mostly it tend to be mostly nigerian americans people that's nigerian of nigerian heritage in america not so much nigerians in nigeria but um but even then everything is nuanced so i had to personally take a step back even after you know becoming even more of a selfish black woman to open my mind up so i tried to go in with an open mind not with my already preconceived notions about this topic um and so i i think i did that um which again that's not totally true there are some you know black americans that don't have respect for the continent of africa now i don't think it's i personally and this could be biased because i'm american but personally, I don't think it's a disdain for Africans, like in an anti-black way. I just think it's more so of, you know, media portrayal, which is this, the equivalent to what Africans, you know, it's kind of like black men and black women are pointing fingers at each other. I think everybody is doing the same thing. Now, with that being said, I do think there is some sort of respect 
that is owed to us as black Americans and our ancestors and our lineage who paved the way for every immigrant to come to this country. Immigrants as immigrants as immigrants, but in particular the black immigrants because the black immigrants will have crosses to bear so to speak that because they're black and they're not the my model minority they're not asian they're not white immigrants they're black immigrants so sometimes white people try to toss them into a pool with right with all black people you know and we're not the same um so i don't think that's totally true and they said Americans have nothing but respect and reverence for the continent. I'm not going to diminish somebody's experience. Um, I know Yvonne Orji have said some sketchy things in the way of the way she view black Americans or whatever. But not all black Americans respect Africans and things like that. How now? <laughs> She, of course, like all Africans and all foreign black people, bring up the African booty scratcher thing. Listen, this is as negative, this is about as negative as it's gonna get um, in this particular video. So if you you came to kind of get something off your chest about, that's really not what this video is about because I was, was kind of pleasantly surprised at Yvonne Orji stand up. Um, I expected it to be a bit more disrespectful towards black Americans, but it was, I was pleasantly surprised, especially after hearing about it from Twitter, from ADOS, you know, people, they kind of leaned in with, on the negative side. Um, and it was really, it was really funny. Uh, I found myself kind of like, busting out in laughter quite a few times so it, it was pretty fun culturally we and this this is about to be longer than i hoped but culturally we're different so i think black americans get offended at the elitism and there is elitism in nigerian americans and other people you know there is elitism and sometimes it's confused with pride um, in their culture and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. I am so glad that nine American black people feel comfortable now to express themselves as their culture because the bottom line is I personally black Americans never ask anybody to come here and assume our identity but at the same time i'm not an immigrant to this country so i don't know how it feels to be different be a different kind of black in this country and have to deal with black americans now the african booty scratcher thing we not apologizing for that i need i need y'all to build a bridge and get over it okay like i said this is as negative as it's gonna get but i really need y'all to use all them degrees y'all have that she talked about the whole time in the show. Use all them degrees to figure out how to build a bridge to get over it. We're not apologizing for calling you African Booty Scratcher and this is why. We all got called African Booty Scratcher. Okay, now, I'm not an idiot, okay? I know that when you're actually from the continent of Africa, I can see how that would hit differently okay however there the majority of black americans have not ne had never met an african before me being one of them i was 19 20 and in college before i met and was able to converse with an african person african booty black people in america have jones in is a part of our culture Yo mama jokes like but much and like it's so many different things african booty scratcher was one of those things black people were being called african booty scratchers because we were we originally are from africa now i do like i said i understand how that would hit different if you're actually a native of the continent of africa but it's like, come on, bro. Like a lot of us never even met an African and we all got called African booty scratcher. Like, so it's like the vast majority of us didn't. So that's really, 
it's like grasping at straws at something to be offended about like come on like we not apologizing for that like if we apologize for that we got to apologize for the yo mama joke era too and, and that's just not happening so but you know other than that like it, it's just really annoying when Africans and even some Caribbeans like they get offended that they were called African booty scratchers like and Caribbeans y'all from the Caribbean so it's like I can see why Africans would take it a little bit more personally but come on bro like but anyway anyway so um overall I think it was less problematic she was really funny it was really interesting to see a bit more about her culture now my sister has been really have always really been into african culture and nigerian culture and stuff like that so you know she always been into so sometimes i do get to i've had my own experiences with um different africans from different different countries in africa and stuff but you know for the most part um the show i think was um problematic i think a lot of people had issue with her bragging about her degrees if that's an accomplishment for you for her or for nigerians then by all means brag about it you have no it's nothing wrong with being proud of your accomplishment of coming to another country your parents uprooting their lives from their home country to give you a better life now you Y'all need to appreciate the people that paved the way for you to even be able to come. And that is us. And I think that's my only gripe at this point with a lot of them is they don't want to, of course, even my parents being American have a lot of ignorant views, just like Africans and other Caribbeans and stuff. Their parents can have different views, d ignorant views. Um, but at the same time, it's on us to kind of course correct. I do think that's happening to some degree. Um, but for a, a black Americans, a lot of this is news to us because a lot of people come here and assume our identity when we didn't ask them to. I understand the the reasoning behind it just to fit in, just so it's easier. I totally get that. But, you know, we didn't ask anybody to do that. And then when we start to, because of social media, we start to understand how they feel, we end up, you know, feeling like dang like like so like they some trojan horses like these black people like they ain't been acting like they cool but really they hate us like they're they been their parents taught them that we were you know bad apples kind of and it's like they don't a lot of people don't know american culture american culture is black american culture black american culture is popular culture if you're not black american you won't know that in that instance, a lot of foreign black people that come to America will know because they do get pushed into the black box and they get to see how the dynamics are for black Americans. And in that way, I do think we're pushing forward to some degree. Um, but with the ADOS movement and the black woman, you know, I choose to be a woman first not the ados movement is typically is about men misogynistic rude disgusting men who still put non-black and biracial women over black women and it's just a cesspool of stupid to me that's like a back burner for me for me i'm woman first and i think that us in america and that includes nigerian americans other african americans Africans in America and other Caribbean Americans and things like that, you know, like there's a unique thing, a unique bond that we have, especially in this country, because it's something about the soil in this country that kind of changes, switches things up. And the best, the best, most prideful, not foreign black person will be affected and will eventually change certain things and it, it you know and that's normal but overall i really i loved her tagline of me a homie or whatever she said every comedian have that like um 
tagline that they say multiple times that the crowd can say like it was hilarious I did like that um and I'm really no I'm not offended anymore about the elitist undertones because people have told me I have elitist undertones or and things like that even though I'm not an elite but like it's like some of those things are ingrained in classism and that black people in any corner of the world aren't exempt from that so really want to know if Africans ever have normal interactions because she was the only thing that I found was kind of problematic is her like black scent of like what black people and how she would when she would refer to black Americans she would just say black people but then her as an African get to be Nigerian she get to be Nigerian American she get to be American she get to be black like it, it, it's just strange I guess a, a identity and ethnicity and race and all that kind of stuff is complicated but and how she would refer to herself as African but then when Americans because I know like on a Nigerian American YouTuber that I no longer follow she like kind of made a crack about if black Americans she hope black Americans can get rid reparations and when we do she hope we get a map too so we'll know what Af that Africa is a continent not a country as if Afri as if black Americans don't already know Africa is a continent we call ourselves American America is a continent South America and North America is a continent so it's like come on it's interesting like that they don't ever like reference their interactions with normal black people with regular black people which is the vast majority it always got to be the hood stereotype or the ghetto girl and she did that a couple times in the thing so that was one of the things that I kind of found a little problematic but it's a comedy show and she's trying to make jokes and and she trying to be funny and for the most part it you know it was funny so I do get it um, but a lot of times people hold these stereotypes as factual and that in itself is divisive and problematic and false because a lot of people think because American black American culture is pop culture that they know our culture when they don't what you know hip hop is a fraction of black American culture and a lot of things you, they don't know just because you happen to be black and you happen to be in America don't make you black American don't make you African American and if you weren't raised by African Americans you won't know what our culture is it's impossible so I think people think they know a lot of our culture and they don't what you see is just the part that white people liked and that white people wanted to monetize hip-hop and things like that that was created for black American consumption white Americans just so happen to enjoy it and said hmm let's make money off of this so you know but anyway I enjoy hearing about her culture seeing her clips of her in Africa and kind of you know putting the pieces of her jokes along with like the her joke about um the directions which I know Jamaicans <laughs> and Caribbeans but especially especially Jamaicans um because I have quite a few close Jamaican friends like I know they joke about their direction given to which is hilarious but like how she bounced back and forth from her comedy and related it to um real life um, and the haggling and stuff like that and she was in the sh the market and stuff like that and as a black American I do want to put myself around more non-american black women just to have that experience um, and I do talk to a lot of non-black American women on um, Twitter and on YouTube and stuff and for me that's more important than me beefing with Nigerians or whatever and I also, um, via my sister, recently before COVID, started going to um, an international, like basically an African church. I, I believe they're Nigerian, but I think they like had different country Africans, um, Africans from different countries too, but I think it's mostly Nigerian. Um, and they were awesome. Like my um, 
sister, of course, she is more engulfed in the culture. So the aunties and stuff um, that will text me and stuff like that. So being around them does kind of naturally take back some of that pre the preconceived notions that I've had about them. It doesn't completely take it away because like everything else, social media highlights how people really feel. But at the same time, we as black Americans, we ain't innocent, bro. We ain't innocent. I wasn't around, you know, a lot of Africans and Caribbeans and stuff like that. But if they got picked on for having smelly food or dressing funny clothes, they have a right to feel a way about that. Again, I ain't apologizing for the African booty scratcher thing because we all were like, that was just something that all black people, because we are originate from Africa. Um, but again, I understand that. I, I see why you would be a little bit more offended if you're actually from Africa, but um, yeah, but one, after spending more time with them, and it's so funny because after spending more time with them and listening to her show, like I'm in my early 30s and not married. The first day I went to church and I met um, my sisters, her, I guess they call everybody auntie which american black people call people auntie too like like that's like a thing that is that does connect us like that's a thing in america too where we call each other aunties and stuff like that or whatever but anyway but is she the one of the first she looked at me up and down and i came like in full makeup and all of that stuff um but i try to go out with makeup anyway why not get dressed up for the lord okay since i don't ever go to church anyway so i went to church with my sister and when i met them <laughs> the first she looked me the first thing she said to me she looked at me up and down and she was like you're pretty of course, I, don't, I, I I can't do a Nigerian accent, so I'm not going to do it. But she's like, she's just looked at me up and down. She hugged me and everything. And she's like, oh, you're pretty. I'm going to find you a Nigerian husband. Like, it was so funny. Like, the first thing she said to me was something about finding me a husband. And it was so funny hearing Yvonne Orgy or Yvonne or whatever. Hearing Yvonne Orgy, um talk about that how her parents are always trying to get her married it was just hilarious because it's like the first she's like oh you're single oh you're pretty i'm gonna find you a nigerian husband it was hilarious but um but being around them and having exposure it really kind of closes the bridge the, the gap so and it gives me a little bit more clarity and get to actually experience them and they can experience us as black Americans and understand that we are different culturally and everything but we can come together you know and I loved it and once we can go back outside again I will definitely be going back with my sister but I think we as black Americans we have certain expectations of all black people that we have um in america and and they're not american so black americans because of our history we have a certain outlook we have a certain oneness that other countries other black people in other countries don't have just because we have a unique set of set of circumstances so we really have to come into spaces with an open mind and some things i said may have been problematic you know you never know we're in separate cultures so i don't know what offends someone else you know in certain ways so but yeah so that's pretty much my thoughts on this show it was really funny i'll probably watch it again because like i like comedy shows and it's for me it's pretty rare to find really really good ones but i really liked it um a lot of the stuff it is relatable uh her accents of southern people is terrible i mean i know marilyn is I don't think people in Maryland really have, um, I think she's from Laurel, Maryland, which I'm very familiar with. I have family in Maryland and I have friends and I stay in Laurel, Maryland sometimes. But um, technically Maryland is the South, um, but they don't have like Southern draws like in Virginia and North Carolina, Georgia and all that. So, but her accent, 
accent, her, her southern accents was horrible, but her black American, um, the man, her, like, that skit part joke was really funny because they are like that, and that sounds just like something one of them would say. Um, but I always wonder in comedy shows how much of the stories they tell are real. But anyway, but that's all I said. I definitely recommend it. I'll probably watch it again. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, I didn't offend anybody. But, you know. My bad. <laughs>